What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another amazing episode of Dividend Rick. Today on Dividend Rick's channel, we're going to be discussing some top dividend stocks for 2024. Um, guys, I ask you if you uh, like my channel, if you could subscribe, please, and give it a thumbs up. The subscribe button is right down here. We sure do appreciate it over here on Dividend Rick channel. Let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, we're going to be using Charles Schwab's uh, tool to evaluate these stocks. Let me go ahead and get this set up. So there's my screen. We're going to go to the stock research tool. Uh, we're going to go over here to choose criteria. So on the left side, you see my mouse choose criteria. We clicked on annual dividend yield. We clicked on dividend frequency and increasing or decreasing dividends. So if you just click here, click on there, this will pop up. We want to click increasing, want to apply. There's 99 of them. So this is where we're at, annual dividend. I have us, and let me get back up here in between four to 6%, apply 199 of those. The same thing with dividend frequency. We want quarterly. So we'll click on quarterly, 199 of those. So we'll go through here and I'll show you their dividends. You can see here the increasing or decreasing uh, year over year. So I clicked on increasing. So this column here will show you what it's increasing to or how much it's increased year over year. This column here will show you the annual dividend yield of these stocks. So I have a couple already picked out. We'll go through these screens here real quick. I'll show you some of them are really high. This one, Cow Main Foods, 4,000%. Mm, I don't know about that one. Let's go to, which one did I have picked out already? CBI. CBI, it's on the next screen, I think. We'll go here. And if you look at this list, guys, there's a lot of REITs, a lot of REITs on here, a lot of energy stocks on here, and a lot of banks on here that have really high dividend uh, dividend yields. So we'll go CBI. Well, that says CBR Energy, but it's CBI right here. We got it pulled up on this screen already. So let's go through it. It's $34.40 right now three-year chart you can see the chart here what it's doing over three years it's up 146 percent the stock prices let's go down here to dividends 5.97 5.97 percent dividend yield let's show some more of that see what we got over here see this dividend so in 2021 they had a special dividend of two dollars and forty cents 2022, they had a special dividend of $3.60. 2023, a special dividend of $2.50. That's pretty good. And this is this is going back all the way to 2016. You can see their dividend. They decreased in 2020, which we all know why. 2021 was just a special dividend. We already discovered that. 2022, they put their regular dividend back. 2023 is back. You can see, you can scroll all the way down if you're using the Schwab. You can look at the dividends all the way back to 2014. Payout ratio, 43.29%. Dividend coverage, 230%. So five year, the five year di uh, dividend yield average is 5.56%. That's a really good, that's a really good uh, rate right there. So that's a pretty good stock. I'm probably going to be picking that up here pretty soon. It's only $34.61. That's not bad. CVR Energy. Their ticker symbol is CVI. All right, look at this other one. We got uh, another one I picked out is Chevron Corporation. It's $152. Chevron Corporation, through its subsidies, engages in the integrated energy and chemicals operation in the United States and internationally. Company operates in two segments, upstream and downstream. All right, let's look at their stock. Three years, they're up 70%. 70%, guys, in three years. That's pretty decent. But Schwab equity rating has them at a D. I don't know, they might drop down. They dropped down a little bit since right here, November 9, 2022. They were up pretty good. But I think all energy stocks kind of dropped down the same time frame. Market cap, $282 billion. 
Let's go back down here to the dividends. I can show you the same screen I showed on the other guys. We can see their dividend all the way back to 2016, $4.29, 432, 448, 476, 516, 531, 568. Last year, $6.04. So annual dividend rate, $6.52. Annual dividend yield, 4.28%. It's not bad guys, not bad. Five year dividend yield average, 4.36%. That's, that's a pretty decent uh, dividend guys. If you wanna hold this for the long haul, maybe for a few years, stock comes up, you collect those dividends in between there, dump it, whatever you wanna do. I'm not a financial advisor, same financial advice. I'm just doing what I do at the house. I'm showing you how I do it, what I look at. All right, so that's pretty good. $151.97. So let's go over here to Movado Group. Let's click over here. I found Movado down here. Let's click through all these wonderful pages. I didn't even know it was, I didn't even know Movado had a stock. I thought they just did watches, but here it is here Movado Group MOV increasing 135%. Annual dividend yield 5.07. All right, let's click back to their page and check it out. They're at $27 here, as you can see, $27.09. This is their three-year chart. They're down, well, they're up 14% over three years because everyone had this big up period in 2022. Then a lot of places came back down. Still at 14%. Uh, Schwab has them at a B. MSCI has them as an AA. Riven Re, Refinitive has them as an out, outperformer, I guess that's what it means. This is underperforming hold by. All right, let's go down here to the dividend. This is what we need to talk about dividends, guys. That's what we do on this channel. Let's talk about dividends. Let's go back here to 16 at a 52 cent, 17, 52 cent, 18, 80 cents, 19, 80 cents, 2020. No, no, no in 2020. And we all know why. We all know why, guys. We all know why what happened there. 2021, 95 cents. 22, $1.40. 2023, $1.40 plus a special $1 for all the shareholders, guys. Special little dividend for the special people. Annual dividend rate, or yeah, $1.40. Dividend yield, 5.07%. That's pretty good, pretty good. Let's go down here to three year growth rate, 27.3%. They're growing that dividend every year, over and over and over. So I don't know what your cost of living raise is at your job, but could you imagine getting a 27% increase year over year on your paycheck? That's what that is right there, guys, 27%. It's pretty decent. So again, Movado, M-O-V, check them out. Let's see what else we got. What are we looking at here, guys? Shell. Shell PLC operates as an energy and petrochemical company in Europe, Asia, Oceania, Africa, the United States, and the rest of Americas. The company operates through integrated gas, upstream marketing, chemical, chemicals and products, and renewables and energy solution segments. Let's look at their three-year chart. Wow, they were way down here. Now look where they're at. They're up 68.73%. That's pretty good. Schwab Equity Radio has an A, an AA. Have them right here at three stars. Look at that. Look at that. Look at these ratings, guys. Let's go over here to dividends because that's what we do. We love those dividends. Love those fat dividend checks reinvesting into the market where's my dividend screen refresh it well for some strange reason it doesn't want to pull up so let's go back let's go back one doesn't want to pull up on here guys but we know what the dividend is it says it right here annual dividend 4.97 you see they were at 58 cents and now they're at 66 cents it's not bad you get $3.16 every year. You take those dividends, reinvest them back into the company for the long haul, guys. That's what we do here. 
All right, well, that sucks. That screen didn't want to pull up. Let's go to another screen. All right, we got ConocoPhillips, another energy company. All these energy companies, these banks, these REITs, there's a bunch of REITs on there. I didn't want to click on any REITs because their dividends are ridiculously high. I don't know if that's going to hold up with the uh, rents crashing around the country. 2016, a dollar. 2017, dollar six. 18, dollar 16. 19, a dollar 33. 2020, they still held their dividend in 2020, a dollar 69. 2021, dollar 75 with the extra 20 cents on there. 2022, a dollar 89 with the extra three dollars and 10 cents per shareholder. 2023, two dollars and 11 cents plus an extra dollar 80. That's pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Three year growth rate. 55.2%. Imagine getting a 55% raise every three years at your job. That's pretty good. I'll probably have to pick some of those up also. So like I said, guys, go over here to your Schwab. Log into your Schwab if you got an account or if you don't. Other company, other trading platforms have the same exact style of things. So that might be different. Whatever one you have, it's going to look a little different. Scroll through here, guys. Pick out some stocks you like. Do some re. Do your due diligence on your stocks that you want to buy. Like I said, guys, please subscribe to my channel. It's right down here. Give me two thumbs up. Those are five easy little stocks for dividends of 2024. We sure do appreciate you guys. Peace out.